Our next guest is a platinum selling singer songwriter who's known for loading his hooks with a message and he's going deeper than ever before with his new album. Here to talk about his new single Pretty Is and the upcoming album Tree of Life is soul artist Life Jennings. Welcome to Rise. Life Jennings. Oh, doing, all man? right, all right. Now I've heard this story before but for our audience tell us how you got the name Life. Uh, well, my actual name was um, Music for Life, but then everybody, you know, I was incarcerated at the time, everybody said, all you sing about is life issues, so kill everything else and just keep life. Mm, yeah. I like right. that. That's all good. Right. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the new single, Pretty Is. Talk to Pretty us about is. that. Um, it's just about, you know, you know, I'm, I'm always looking what's going on right now, and I want to talk about that, and it just seemed like exotic dancers has become a fad, mm -hmm. you know? And everybody is like, hey, get your money, focus on your money. But you know, I wanted to write a song to tell these young ladies, look at the risk that you're taking. Usher might say he don't mind you being in the club and coming home at four, five o'clock, <laughs> but I think any other man is gonna mind. I'm going, you gonna mind? Mm-mm. <laughs> You're not gonna mind if your wife no, came home no, at four o'clock in the morning. That's a different story. Oh, you mean like the jump off? Yeah, oh. like, yeah, you know, <laughs> jump off. They're doing whatever they do, but no, <laughs> wife, we're not having that. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Exactly. You know, I just want them to be, you know, get some good information about what's right. really happening. Not what somebody tell you in a song, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, why is that message so important to you? Because most people that are singing R&B, hip-hop, rap, you know, they're promoting a very different message than what you're putting out. I mean, well, I think in part, I have a daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I definitely want my daughter to grow up and to be something magical and beautiful. And I think, secondly, I got a lot of bad information growing up from the TV and from mm -hmm. music. <laughs> you know, what, so, type of, what type of information did you get? Turn up. You know, be a gangster. You see what that got me? Mm. Got me 15 years in prison, so, wow. you know. Yeah. And speaking it's of prison, time. why did yeah. you get locked up? What happened, and how did that change your life around? You know what, that's a funny story, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't have time to tell you right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, but let me just say that, you know, again, like, I was, I was... I was bamboozled, like my whole lifestyle, where I lived, the people that I hung around with, mm -hmm. they convinced me into thinking that I wasn't great. And so naturally I did non-great things. Mm -hmm. That's in a nutshell, that's what happened. And what happened in prison that had you change your whole message around? Um, well, two things actually happened. I think number one, um, when I was growing up, I had a lot of friends who didn't have fathers. I would see their father, then their father would disappear. And when I got to prison, it was so crazy that all of their fathers was in prison. All of these people that had disappeared was in prison, wow. you know? And then I think that secondly, I just got just tired of it all, like the gang banging and all that stuff. I just was like, I'm just tired of this. Like, I, I just, you know, this can't be my life. And I just got to read it. And once I understood more about my environment, I didn't feel like I was a victim of my environment no more. And then I wanted to help that social change that had helped me. I wanted to be able to have some cats to grow out of it too. Mm -hmm. you know? When did you realize that you had a gift? Um, I think I, I never realized that I have a gift. I think I realized that I have a duty. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that God puts you through situations in your life, not just to go through, but to grow through. Yeah. And once you understand that growth, then it's your responsibility to help somebody else grow through it. Yeah. Why do you think other men who've been in your situation don't end up leaving prison the way that you left it, with an, an attitude towards bettering their life. Why do you think there's this constant revolving door of coming out of prison and going back in, coming out of prison and going back in? Well, I mean, I don't have an answer for that because, you know, I think each individual is different. I'm more focused on that, that one individual. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna tell you a story. I don't even take up a lot of your time, but let me just tell you how a, a simple thing could change somebody's life. It was a guy it was a guy, like, he would never keep himself clean. And I used to be that guy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care about how I look. I wouldn't iron my pants. I wouldn't do none of that. And so one time, somebody gave me a compliment. Like, oh, how'd you get your pants like that? Like, do you, did you put the crease in them yourself, this, that, and the third? And it raised my self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And so as I started to feel better about myself, my external started to match my internal. Yeah. So this same guy, I just did, like, a little trial on him like he used to always be dirty and not clean his stuff so I came up to him one time and I said hey man you know how did you get your pants ironed like that did you this that and the third and I saw the same thing take place in this dude life every time you saw him and wow. ironically probably two years later I never forget 
was upstairs in prison, and I actually saw, overheard a conversation with him and another young cat. He just was like, hey, how'd you get your pants ironed like this in it? Are you like, serious? This is the real, this is the truth. This wow. is not a TV lie, nothing. Yeah. This is the truth right here. Right. Wow. And now you're About shedding some of those. Forward. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the same right. thing you're doing in some of your music. You know, we hear some of those positive mm -hmm. messages in your music. This is your sixth studio album. So what can we expect on this album? Um, everybody's looking to reinvent themselves, but like I said, I don't think you can reinvent the truth. The only thing you can do is tell it. So, I mean, there is no excitement. Life is, has this new whole album, different themes coming out. This is the same old theme. It's the truth. It's real life. It's something that you go through and something that you're trying to come out of. Would you say that this is your most personal work to date? I think at the time, because you know, I, I put out an album every two years on purpose because I want to have two years of life experience mm -hmm. to be able to share with y'all. Mm. You know, I'm not looking for the next hit or the next hot artist. You know, I'm just looking for the next life lesson. Yeah. But How you... do your fans respond to you being so real and so authentic? Mm. Because nowadays, it's really rare to even see people write their own music, let alone be honest about what they're going through. I mean, well, people respond in different ways because sometimes I can, I can come off as as shocking. Like in songs, I might say something like, it's, it's the truth that your titties is gonna sag when you get a certain age. Like, oh, that's, what? That's, <laughs> Excuse me. No. That's shocking. <laughs> that's shocking, but it's reality because mm -hmm. I want to follow that up. Like, you can expect that, but you can also expect that I'm gonna love you. Mm. I'm gonna love you like I loved you the first day. This attention that I'm giving to you, it is not subject to how you look physically. It ain't even subject to how you look mentally or socially or economically. It's subject to how you look and present yourself spiritually to me in my life. I like yeah. that. He's got some rap game, don't he? All right, all right, give it up for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and in the past, that. we also have to talk about your collaborations because you collaborated with everyone from Rick Ross to Alicia Keys. Can we expect any star studded collaborations on this album? Um, I do have a collaboration with. Um, Miss McKinney, Demetria McKinney. Oh, yeah, she's been here. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, another young lady by the name of Algebra. Ooh, you know, nice. I, I don't look for the big names. I mm -hmm. look for the greats. And these two ladies mm -hmm. right here, they awesome. They just awesome. have it. All right. Yeah. All right. So like, what's next for you? Yeah. Album coming out. When can we get it? Album is coming out June 23rd. We got a mm -hmm. lot of TV stuff coming out. We got some some movies that I'm doing, ironically. They say I'm the next Denzel. I oh, watch out now. <laughs> 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 Just take it, claim it. <laughs> right. Well, I'm, I mean, we're doing some different things, man. We're still doing our community service. We're going mm. inside these prisons. You know, a lot mm. of people have bad situations in their life, and when they when they conquer that, they don't go back and tell other people how to get out, but we're still doing that, man. Just mm -hmm. more life with Life Jennings. Yeah. Really quickly, what do you make of what's going on in Baltimore right now? Um, it's two-sided. I mean, on, on one hand, you know, violence is never going to solve you anything. Like, being the bad guy just makes you the bad guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's nothing hard or cool about that. But in the same token, you know, they say stuff that these people are tearing up their communities. And I've been on that side of it. Those community stores, they're not giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. These things that they're tearing up, they don't feel a connection with. That's why it's so easy to destroy something that you feel like you didn't have a, a part in building. Mm -hmm. You know? That's yeah. a very good point. Very Life, good point. keeping it wow. real always. Yeah. Thank you, you so much. Dap, don't you? I do. I want to like <laughs> tap you up. I want to like. Mm. <laughs> Y'all work on that, and we will be right back with more Rise 360. <laughs> Thank you. Man.